Hi lovelies. So today I thought I would do a little tutorial, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. First I'm going to sit up. And it's going to be long because guess what? I still don't have my computer. So anyways, I am going to do my makeup and I'm going to do it how I feel. It's going to reflect being chronically ill. So instead of hiding it, which is what I would do normally, I'm just going to enhance it and show on the outside how I feel on the inside. Okay? Step one, take your beautiful hair and throw it up in a freaking messy ponytail bun thing. Awesome! And then just take any contacts or freaking glasses you have off because it doesn't really matter really step three look incredibly tired check because I haven't slept for more than three hours in three days perfect okay moving on but I can't see anything, so this is going to be perfect. I want black is what I really want. Okay, we're going to take this. No, you know what? We're going to take some primer because we want to prime our face to look beautiful. Yep, just put it all over his face. Perfect. Okay, now maybe the taking off of the glasses wasn't the greatest idea. I want I I can't see colors. Okay. Step twenty. You know, normally we put eyeshadow up here, but we're gonna put it down here. This is going to look great, guys. I'm feeling really good about this. I can't see anything. My mirrors are meaningless. But you know what? You have two eyelids. You shouldn't neglect this one. This is going to look so good. Okay. Done with that one. Now, just to add a little flair, we're gonna add some purple underneath here. Because nothing says bruised under eye like purple and brown mixed together. And a friend of mine, I don't know if I've shared this with you guys, was just recently diagnosed with fibromyalgia and I have been extremely emotional about it and it makes me mad, it makes me upset. Um, I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy, let alone someone that I love. So, harder for her but still sucks for me. And uh, she says that when she wakes up in the morning, it feels like she's been beat up by tiny little minions. And uh, sometimes that's what it does feel like. I choose to describe it as a bus. Fibro is a constellation of symptoms ranging from those wonderful, beautiful Lyrica commercials that describe it as fatigue and widespread pain, which are some of the symptoms, not all. 
you can have issues with just a particular area of your body, like your neck or your back, and you can have issues with your whole body, sure. But mostly, I don't even have, okay, here we go. I was gonna say, I didn't have a wide enough stick. Uh, mostly, you will have many symptoms, including insomnia, bladder irritation, sensitivity to cold and hot, hypersensitivity to pain, huh, running out of light here. Headaches, migraines, You can also just have unexplained symptoms. Those are the best ones. Like allergies to really weird crap that you never had allergies to before. Just suddenly sprout up. Cream colored, perfect. Cream is just another color for white. Wonder how people would treat us if we did our makeup how we feel. Would they take us seriously? Would they ask us if we're okay? Would they not beat us up for being horrible friends or daughters or girlfriends because we're just always hurting and always in pain? Probably not. But maybe. Maybe they'd understand just a little bit of what we go through if we didn't look so perfect on the outside. What if they really knew how much pain we were in? What if we made a silent illness not so silent? Because just a face can speak a thousand words. And even though on the outside we can put pretty makeup on and we can smile and act like everything's okay, sometimes it's not. And it would be so great if people understood. I am so blessed in my life to have people understand. And that love me unconditionally and help me and are there for me. But nobody knows the extent of what I go through. I don't put that on anybody else. The reason I'm doing this video is that I pray that somebody out there gets the courage to show their true self and be authentic and real with other people because by doing that, you're not only helping yourself, you're helping other people that could be silently suffering. I'm not saying do your makeup like this and go out, but it's just a metaphor for showing how you feel 
to other people and sharing that with other people. And it's nothing short of amazing. I did this because I was scared and fearful and felt called to do it. So I kind of just did it. But I've seen so many other people that are so brave and putting their stories out there and putting this face out there in words and education and teaching people about chronic illness and chronic pain and things that are just as serious as every other disease out there, yet we don't get the same treatment. Life isn't fair. Nothing is ever going to be fair. I think all that we ask as people with fibro or chronic pain or chronic illness is just this much of understanding and just to give us a little slack and try to understand this and maybe then we won't be so freaking afraid to show who we really are and the pain that we're really feeling. I started this video idea as a joke, as a parody, as something funny when I thought about doing it and then I felt really moved to just put my emotions and feelings into this. I hope that even one person sees this and feels, I don't know, in any way moved that they aren't alone because you absolutely are not. Um, if you tell your friend one thing, that you have a headache that day or you don't feel bad for canceling up on going to a party, anything, I hope that this helps. But I hope that this true face of how I actually feel on the inside will help you be who you really are. And even though I have this disgusting makeup on and I look like death, I can still smile and I can still have these emotions and be happy and thankful for the life that I have and everything that I'm given and my family and my friends and everything that is given to me, my dog, Bella, who just means the world to me. Um, I think even through that, just smiling through it, it doesn't matter if I have zombie makeup on. It doesn't matter if you feel like you have zombie makeup on with just your bare face. You're beautiful for being you and authentic, and that's what people will gravitate toward. So I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. And please, in the comments down below, if you want to share just a little snippet of your story or your diagnosis or your struggles, um, I would love that. And um, I'm sending out X double O's and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.